Oh sh Am I gonna be foreclosed on this property? Is this happening right now? We are dealing with a major setback at our project here in Brookline and damages of about $200,000. So where does the money come from to get us through the finish line so we don't get foreclosed by the bank? We're gonna talk about four options we have to get us to the finish line, get the capital and be done with this project. We had a big problem with this project here in Brookline. We did another video for you guys. I will put a link up there. Go check it out as I cover exactly what happened. What we're gonna talk about today though is the steps that we're taking to get us through that hurdle, especially on the financing side. Because what happened after the pipe burst here and after we got the whole place, got it down to the studs, I called my lender and I told them about the issue. I was upfront about the heat situation and I said, hey, we're going to need to modify the loan on the construction, right? The construction loan, $200,000 more. And their response wasn't positive. They went back and forth. They looked at the numbers and they said, unfortunately, we can't really give you guys $200,000 in addition to the existing loan you have. So fear kicked in. You're dealing with a lot of money, but you want to finish the project. You cannot leave it halfway because that's not what you do. You get paid at the end, right? But we obviously sat down and thought about what are our options and there are options. Well, one thing to do is you can put this project on the market and sell it, right? Obviously, I don't want to be foreclosed on. However, if I have a great project with equity, I can put it on the market even as is and another builder rehabber will pick it up. That will never happen if you have no equity in the project, but we buy these properties off market and typically from day one, we have some equity in the deal. We said no to that option. We said we don't want to put this property on the market. It's prime real estate, right? It's an A-class building and we want to keep it for a long time. We love this location. We love this house. We want to be able to finish, be proud of it. So we said no to that. Option number two though might be to go and find a partner. Someone that wants to join you on the deal, someone that has the money, someone that has $200,000 and they want to be a partner with you to get it to the finish line. Well, you can join our meetup events, a plug for our meetup events. I'll put a link on the show notes, but you guys can come there, introduce yourself and be like, hey, I got this prime building, amazing location. I'm looking for $200,000 because that's what happened. And I'm willing to give 20, 30% equity in the deal, right? We didn't want to do that either because I think that 20, 30% equity wasn't something we were comfortable with. The other option is talk to family and friends, see if someone is interested in lending you money, right? That's called raising private capital. For me, when we started out, it was all friends and family. I borrowed from my in-laws, I borrowed from my parents. That's how, you know, we started. And then you can go and talk to other individuals that have capital, they want to make an interest on that money. And that's what we did. On this project, that's exactly how we're raising capital. We offering 12% interest on the $200,000 that we're borrowing. And when we get to the finish line and refinance the loan, we're going to pay that money back. And the final step is obviously you might have savings in a bank. You can go to your personal savings and, and get that money to finish a project. Most people though don't have $200,000 sitting in the bank, right? But some people have a HELOC, a home equity line of credit. And you can have that on personal residence, you can have it on, on investment properties, but you can go and tap into that source of money to then finish this project. And again, once you are at the finish line, you can refinance it or sell it, whatever the plan is, and you pay the HELOC back. Because the most important thing is wrapping this project, getting to the finish line, refinancing, and then we're gonna be, you know, happy about it. So guys, that's all I got for you today. Hopefully you're finding value in this. Like, share, subscribe. Help me out here, guys, on my goal to get to a thousand subscribers. And I'll catch you on the next one.